In this video, we're joined by D. Nimmin and we are talking mobile video. We're gonna show you how to improve your quality without upgrading your equipment. Deliver your value. Hi, and welcome to Creator Fundamentals. My name is Dan Courier, and I am here to help you deliver your value through online video. Today, we're joined by D. Nimmin, and we are talking mobile video. As you know, on the channel, many times before, we've talked about how you can make quality videos with mobile videos using the cell phone that you already have. And today, we are going to focus on how to improve quality without buying new equipment. So for those of you who may not know, I did the first 100 videos on Creator Fundamentals using just a mobile phone. Today, we're joined by D. Nimmin, who focuses on mobile video. D, welcome to the channel. Thanks, Dan. It's great to have you. Yeah, happy to uh, be for on those here. who may not be familiar, can you let them know a little bit about your channel? Yeah, my name is Dean Nimmin. I help people make content on their phone. And if you're just getting started on YouTube, I help mobile YouTubers. All right, so the first tip I wanted to share with you has to do with stabilizing your phone. A lot of people go out, they make videos, and they tend to walk around swinging that thing in every direction. It's important if you have the ability to stabilize, which basically means putting it on a stand. If you don't have a stand, it can be as simple as leaning it against a book on a counter. The point is, the more that you can stabilize that shot, the better the quality of the video. So Dee, what's another tip? A next tip would be audio. People will forgive your video if it's a little bit wonky, maybe a little bit grainy, but bad audio will absolutely ruin the experience. Now, you don't have to spend money on a microphone. You can get away with a mic that's in your phone, mm -hmm. but there's things to be mindful of. For example, if you're shooting outside, be mindful of the wind. A lot of wind will make a lot of noise inside your mic and it's gonna sound really bad. Are there planes flying overhead? Are you near traffic? Are there dogs barking? Is there TV in the background? Right. Is there radio on? Mm -hmm. These are things to be mindful of. All these little things can make your audio sound better. But if you can afford a little bit, you can get the Boya BYM1 lavalier microphone. It clips onto your shirt right here. And it's about 16 or 17 US dollars. It's, mm -hmm. not, it's not much and it can do a massive, massive like just improvement to your overall audio. All right, so another consideration is lighting. There's a number of ways to improve the quality of lighting, even when you're using a cell phone. One of the things that you can do is take advantage of natural light. Natural light is basically what's going on. It's daylight outside. A good way to do this is when you're recording, if you set your phone up in front of an open window and you're allow yourself to face the window, that is going to light your face uh, and give you a much higher quality. Good lighting can offset a lower quality camera, so it's important to focus on that lighting. Now, if natural light is not an option, you can certainly take advantage of the lights you have in your own home, whether that be a, a lamp or overhead lighting. You just wanna make sure uh, that you're trying to light your scene evenly. That can be as simple as putting a lamp to your left and your right to make sure you're filling in as many shadows as possible. And, and if you wanna improve your lighting and you don't wanna spend a lot of money, you can do things like buy canister lights or workshop lights at uh, one of the home improvement type stores uh, for less than $10 that you can then clamp to the back of a chair, uh, you know, set up off camera, number of different ways to light the scene without spending a fortune on expensive gear. I want to piggyback on that if I can. Mm -hmm. If you are shooting outside, it doesn't always look that good if you're shooting in bright, harsh sunlight. That's not gonna be very right. flattering on you mm -hmm. or your subject. If you can, try to shoot in the shade, or if it's a cloudy day, that's even better, because right. that's gonna act as a diffuser, which is gonna soften the light and make everything look better. Absolutely. The next tip I wanna share with you is manual controls on your phone. Okay. Now, not all phones have manual controls. What this allows you to do is it allows you to control the exposure, the ISO, the film speed. Now, if you don't know what this is, uh, you can spend some time looking into this, researching it, find out what it is, but it allows you to dial in every single aspect of the camera on your phone. Now, if your phone does not have this, if you're on an Android, you can use a free app like Open Camera. Okay. It's free, and if you're on an iPhone, that does have some manual controls. Okay. You can touch and hold, and then move up and down, and it will actually set the exposure and focus, and that's a good head start. Absolutely. But manual controls will get you a long way. You can also set your white balance, right. which will allow your, your lighting to shift color to give you a proper color. All right, so the fifth and final tip has to do with your background. We all know how many times we've seen a video where somebody is recording in their bedroom and behind them there's a bed that's not made, there's clothes all over the floor, and it doesn't make for a very quality or professional looking video. There's a number of easy things you can do to greatly improve the quality of your video by having a little bit of consideration for what's going on in the background. All right, so if you're going to record with your room in the background, make sure that background is clean, there's nothing in the scene that you don't want 
to upload to YouTube. All right, so if cleaning that room's not a possibility, you can certainly film with a wall behind you. I know in my personal experience, as I did this, I looked for ways to enhance what was going on in the background. I moved from a white wall to a more textured wall, and that was as simple as going out and buying a full brick wall at a home improvement store to give a little more interest uh, to what people were seeing behind me. And, and yeah. to add to that, if you are shooting against the wall or whatever your background is, you might want to look into contrasting colors. Learn about colors. Don't wear a black shirt if you're standing against a black wall. If you have a black hat on, you don't want to stand in front of a black wall. So there's things that you can do to actually make yourself look better with certain colors behind you. So take some time and research that. It, it will really pay off. And then a bonus tip, make sure you clean your lens. I can't tell you how many times I've gone out. I mean, I'm guilty of this myself. I bet you've done it too, mm -hmm. right? You go out, you shoot something, you bring it back in, you look at it, and there's a smudge on the lens. So get some cleaner, make sure you clean your lens, and make sure you have a full battery and storage space before you go out to shoot. All great tips. I hope you found this video helpful. If you want more ways to help you deliver your value through online video, consider clicking the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing. That's all the time we have for today. My name is Dan Courier, and you're watching Creator Fundamentals.